さすがはスターフォックスその先の隕石軍にも敵が潜んでいる気をつけてくれ任せてください<笑>What's going on YouTube? My name's Alex. This is Ask the Cheese Gaming. And welcome back to another video game discussion. Over two years ago, I took a look at Star Fox for the Nintendo 64. I wanted to revisit this one and answer the question, is it still worth picking up and playing today? Is it still a must own for the Nintendo 64? Star Fox 64 was released in America June 1997 and came to PAL regions in April. Also in PAL regions, it was called under a different name, which was Lilat Wars. So if you're ever on the hunt for this game, be aware of that. The version that you're seeing me here play here is actually the Japanese version, which for near as much as I can tell, has, is almost identical to the American counterpart with a couple of minor cosmetic changes. One of the first things you'll notice about this game is just the sheer amount of times that your teammates and everybody else in this game are talking to you. There's so much dialogue in this game. I mean, it really makes you feel like, you know, you're a part of the team and that there's always a lot going on. It was rumored that well over one third of the entire game's ROM file was just consumed with audio. And it's like, you know, there's a lot of audio dialogue in this game. Now speaking of what we're talking about the audio, let's touch briefly on the music and sound effects. I will say, overall, Nintendo did a wonderful job expanding on the sound effects of this game in comparison to its Super Nintendo counterpart and while the music is nowhere near as good as the Super Nintendo port it is okay I'd put it kind of well middle of the road for a Nintendo 64 soundtrack overall if you're interested in hearing the original Super Nintendo version I will leave that link down below somewhere in the description or in the pinned comment now next I want to touch briefly on this game's controls and for a game that is based upon being a rail shooter in space except for a couple levels where you get to play as the tank or at the one level is Aquas where you play as the blue marine you're always in the R wing so being a rail shooter you kind of need a game like this to be you know for the most part flawless controls and responsive and I will say that both the American as well as the Japanese version controlled totally flawlessly. I can't speak for the PAL region. I have never played Lilat Wars, but so if anyone has, you know, feel free to comment below. From my own research, I haven't seen any differences or anything about the way that this game controls. Let's try to blow some stuff up here. And as you can see me play this game here, make subtle changes and I just got hit by that stupid bee or whatever he is attack of course the object of the game blow up everything in your path story for this game is Andros who's been exiled as Venom and has begun some crazy experiments has decided to launch a full-out invasion on the Lilat system and it's up to you having been recruited by the Cronarian army General Pepper to send Lila to send Andros packing. I won't spoil much more if you've never played the game. I don't want to totally spoil the story, but it's got a pretty cool story and I enjoy it. Let's see if we can get this warp zone. Yeah, all right. Nice little secret area right here warp zone. If you ever want to get the metal in Meteo, aka Asteroid Belt, you gotta hit all of those little warp zones and you get to go to here. One of two little futuristic warp zone areas. Supposedly this area takes place, I think, like way into the future. Not totally certain about that. If someone knows, comment below, let me know. I'm not 100% certain on that. 
but overall for my time with the Japanese version of this game, Star Fox 64 is still absolutely a must own. And then Nintendo 64, whether you choose to pick up the American version, which is still has a price charting price of about $21, or this version, the Japanese version, which can be found on eBay and has a price charting price of $10. Both are absolutely fantastic games, well worth picking up. There's just something so fun about just kicking back, relaxing, and just trying to blow up absolutely everything in your path. Ah, and I missed a whole bunch of those guys. Oh well. So, you know, excuse me. I'm gonna sit here and just try to lay waste to as many of these little medios as I can. Thank you so much for watching. If you have a game that I've covered before and you'd like to see me revisit, comment below. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, everybody. Take care. Try as I might, I can't beat my record of 317 on Medio Asteroid Belt, excuse me. Till next time, everybody.